Did you watch your football last night? No, no. <clears throat> I was going to come in here and watch it, but... It's not the same without Winston shouting and bawling at the telly, is it? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, he made it worth watching even if it was a shite game, didn't he? Aye, aye. Yeah, fair, miss, I'm right enough. Me too. Oh, I was in the bookies yesterday and uh, Captain Dandy was running. Was it? Aye, yeah. he won as well. Yeah. I wonder if Winston was backing him. Yeah, I wonder, I. Aye, I miss him too. Where we, pal, were lost with him. <laughs> Get it up, you, you prick. <laughs> you wouldn't know what it is to miss a pal, Bobby. Well, we never haven't had one, you black-hearted loner bastard. You don't need pals in the pub game, Victor. Suck you dry. Here's your post, Bobby. Oh, Chris, I, you can give us our post as well. That'll save you humping it up the block. You can't do that, Jack. Her Majesty's post is very clear on this one. The mail must be delivered to the recipient at the recipient's place of residence. Since when do you care about rules? Give us my post. No, it's against regulations. Chris, you are a shiftless deadbeat. Why are you acting all officious as if you're being watched? Post. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Come on! So I'm going to get hung for this. Uh, Osprey Heights, McDay, Jarvis. No, I've not got any. <laughs> Bobby, you've got a lucky bill on a postcard. Oh, what to read first? Lucky bill or postcard? I'm going to keep you till later, you wee minx. <laughs> oh, sweet Winston. Aye. Well, aye, what's he saying? To all at the clansmen, just a wee update on life in Finport. <laughs> One twenty-five quid in a puggy in Neville's Amusement Arcade, and a new baker's has opened. Their cream horns are the bollocks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the place is hoaching with Fandan. <laughs> Best move ever made, come in here, get it up, yous. Another nice piece of correspondence from Oscar Wilde <laughs> and the photograph. Nude lassie. Smash and Bobby, put it up with the rest of them. I must have been buying in bulk. Mm. And he never puts his address on him, eh? Ah, queer that. That's Winston for you, doesn't want anybody dropping in on him, you know. He likes a bit of advanced warning. Afternoon, gentlemen. This is uh, Francis' sister, Molly Drummond. Now that is a familiar face. Jack Jarvis, Esquire. How did you do? How did you do? Bobby, lager, two sherry. Uh, you have me a disadvantage, Jack. Uh, I don't believe we've... No, 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 come on now. Molly Drummond, uh, I think it was sold out the Alhambra six weeks in a row, 1902. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise is just next door. And it's all there waiting for you. Ah, I remember new, aye, aye. What was that other one you sung? Uh, <clears throat> Be sure to write me when you get there. No, I never done that song. <laughs> that was Tilly my cake. Nasty wee cow. <laughs> Now, I'll get these. Come on, you picked me up at the bus station, Tam. Indeed you will not. Tam! Yeah, of course, aye, 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 aye. Um, <clears throat> but I tell you, Molly's up for Finport for a few days. Oh, we, we, have, a, we have a nice friend in Finport, aye. I was telling her, aye. Anyway, Molly couldn't make Francis and I's wedding, so this is a sort of getting to know each other, you know. Aye. <laughs> They tell you that <coughs> Molly played the Carnegie Hall in the Big Apple, alongside Billy Eckstein and Sarah Vaughan. Really? That's something, eh? You know who bought her a drink after a show one night? No. Who? A certain Francis Albert Sinatra. Really? <laughs> On the house. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Tom, always a pleasure to watch you. My stroll, my stroll. I did it my way. Jack, where are you? Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. What's it, Dad? That's Molly, live with Alhambra, 1962. What a place. Oh, aye. Here, you've still got the looks, eh? 
Oh, aye, aye. She's foxy. Oh, aye. Nicely turned out. Blonde hair and the makeup and that. She's a looker. Oh, aye, she's a, she's a looker. <laughs> uh, what is it you're wanting? <laughs> oh, aye. Aye, you'll never guess. Bloody Winston's just phoned. Oh, aye, what's he saying? Nothing, really. How's tricks? <laughs> he was bumming up Finport or something chronic. Did you get his address? No, no. I asked him, but he was waffling on it. Didn't you get it? Well, that's no bloody use, is it? He said a funny thing, though, Jack. Oh, aye. He said, how's the clansman? Funny about that. Well, nothing, but... But then he said, how's Bobby? How's Bobby? Hmm. Well, that's funny. They must have assholes in Finport, surely. I would have thought so. Why would you miss a wanker? Why would you miss a big walking tit with legs? Dunderheader, a walloper. A surf, a go get me. A dimwit, a cockbag. Oh, <laughs> you know what I think? What? I reckon he's desperately lonely. Go on. Well, if you're so low that you miss the shittiest thing about the place you've left, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> then you must be really hating the place you're in. Where does that put us? Puts us on the bus to Finport, Jack. I'll get the plates and the sauce. No, don't bother with plates. It's awful good of you to have me for the few days. Not a bit of it, Molly. Your family, for God's sake. I mean, I... I, I could have booked into a hotel, but so many of them nowadays are so impersonal. What the expense of tea? Oh, why? I brought the plates anyway. Thanks, Francis. Right, darling, that. Have you no brown sauce, Francis? Brown sauce? Uh. Aye. Oh, eh, uh, no. It's just red sauce we take, eh, Tam? Uh, just red sauce. You know, I might have a sash of brown sauce that I've lifted. When I eat out, I always grab a handful of these. <laughs> you have me changed. <laughs> I know, what am I like? Every penny's a prisoner with me, eh? <laughs> you're the lady, you're the lady that I love. I'm the lady, the lady who... Oh, we're at the bus station there, so that's a five minutes walk down mm. to the beach. That's the shops there. Mm -hmm. No, I reckon our best bet is starting on that with your state there. Stay there. Ah, well, that's as good a place as any. Besides, how many one legged old duffers can they be in Finpor, eh? He's what, not? No, actually, we're heading off. Um, oh, we're going to get down to Finpor, check up in Winston. Hey, what's wrong, man? Oh, nothing wrong. We just thought it was time for a wee visit, you know? Hey, uh, Bobby, a lag on a sweet sherry. Right. Hey, Tom. We're going to shoot down to Finpor, see how Winston's doing. Do you want to uh, come with us? Uh, Hard than that, really. Uh, any other day, but. Oh, you dirty bugger. What? <laughs> you nicking about in the middle of the afternoon with your wife's sister. Oof, what are you all about? Francis is stuck in that library at five o'clock. It's my responsibility to. To what, Tam? To show her a good time. Oh, curious choice of words, that. Show her a good time. <laughs> what is your idea of showing a woman a good time, Tam? Well, uh... Bring her in here and have a sherry, chat. Can fulfill. Bobby, your idea of showing over a good time? Pumping up. Oh! <laughs> it's my wife's sister you're talking about. I'd only married ten minutes. Have a little respect. Tim, here's your chance to give me a bit of respect and gaze £3.80 for the drinks, huh? You can look about all you want, Tam. Nobody's going to save you if you're buying this round. You've had your freebie. Now it's time to cough up. Is it? Is it really? Oh, just in time, Eric. <clears throat> Got your signed album from the lovely Molly. Oh, boy, unbelievable. That's made my day. <laughs> right, let me square you up for the drinks, no, Bobby. Wait. I'll get that. It's the least I can do. And the next gen. And the next gen. Oh, thanks for that, Eric. Do you know what? Give another couple of drinks. Has anybody got a light? Why? Eh. 
There you go. Thanks. I've never got one of these when I need one. I'll give you it back in a minute. Oh, no, that's all right. You can keep that one. Thanks. The old lady, the old lady. Maybe we should have come down earlier. Time's marching on a bit. No, I've got stacks of time. The last bus doesn't go back to 11 o'clock. Right, what are we doing first when we get down here? Uh, well, we should be cognizant of the fact that we're down here looking for Winston. But we should also bear in mind we're a couple of pensioners we don't get to the coast very often. So what are you thinking? Fish, chips, ice cream, pint, then Winston. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Listen, don't no bother with the ice cream, eh? No. I can't even feel my clacker bag. Doesn't matter, the chips are warm, is it? I don't know. Shut. When is it open? Me. <laughs> Pint. Pint. <laughs> I'm starving. Ah, I know. Me, I know. You doing food, son? Normally I, but my cook's in hospital with a depression. Okay. Queerest thing I've ever seen. Took all his clothes off, put them in a neat wee pile, walked into the water. They carted him. He was navy blue, shouting and bawling about toasties. <laughs> <coughs> Aye, well, uh, two lager. That's for the salt. Uh, well, uh... Two pints of lager coming up. Oh, didn't he change the old barrel, eh? Nope, that's the last one. The brewery only delivers on a Wednesday. Okay, dokie. Two whiskies then, please. Don't recognise the two of yous? No, oh, we're doing for Glasgow. Mm, what brings you to Finport? Well, as a matter of fact, we've got a pal down here. He moved down here six weeks ago. We just wanted to see how he was doing, you know. Uh, the problem is we won't have his address. What's his name? Winston. Winston Ingram. Red face. Poor belly. Limp. Wooden leg. No. <laughs> Where do you think the best place to start would be? You're starting to wonder about Finport in the dark, are you? Well, I. That wouldn't be the best idea. See, when darkness comes, Finport belongs to the young team. <laughs> Jesus, what are we doing now? I just hold up here for the night. Start your search in the morning. Michael here's got a bed and breakfast. Michael? Haven't you, Michael? Yeah. Oh. The <laughs> <coughs> uh, fellow was saying you've got a bed and breakfast. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You're a, an English fella, aren't you? Yeah. I used to be a cab driver. Come up here in 95 with my missus. Worst move I ever made. I got back to London in a flash, but the house market went crazy down there. So I'm trapped. Trapped in Finport. <laughs> like a rat. <laughs> Mrs. couldn't stick it. She's gone back to live with her mother. Been quiet, has it? Quiet? It's... Yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> About to sell my car and make some money. It's been up for sale for two years. Here's my card. Breakfast is between 7 and 7.30. Or whenever you like, really. <laughs> Four and five at the top of the stairs. Thanks very much. Nighty, nighty now. You want to have a nightcap with me? No, we've an early start in the morning, son. Right, we've got a very big day tomorrow. Thanks for offering, though. No. 
Go on. Have a drink. No, thanks. Have a drink with me, will you? Please? OK. <laughs> Great. All right. Now, what have I got? I've got vodka. No, I don't. <laughs> I've got Bacardi. Ah, uh, Bacardi's fine. We'll get a try. <laughs> now, have I got a can of Coke? <laughs> Diet lemonade, do you? <laughs> Two Bacardis and Diet lemonade. It's four eighty. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Evening. Evening, Molly. Evening, Tom. Is your room okay, Molly? My room's lovely, Tom. Lonely, but lovely. <laughs> oh, here. You oh, sit here. Thank you. Thank you. Where did you get your guinea, Tam? The hospital. Oh, I was in for a bladder operation back when and I, I thought a wee souvenir, you know. Yeah. Well, yours is nice tea. It's an Anne's Hotel. Very nice. I actually got two of them. Oh. Oh, it's a lovely hotel. Lovely rooms. Oh. Beautiful, big, fluffy towels. I could hardly get my keys shut. <laughs> 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 right, what are we watching? Oh, basic instinct. <laughs> I know you asked for bacon, but there wasn't. <laughs> See, if you opened a gun shop down here, there'd be a queue right down to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, get over it. She's not coming back. We need to get out of here. <laughs> get looking. Jesus. It's him! No, 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 no. I've had that before now. Pay up. We're not doing a runner. Our pals just walked past the windy. Yeah, good for you. Now, 14 pounds each. Cough up. <sighs> hey, yeah, that's 30. You just get you your change. No, get yourself a card in Dark Lemonade, you arsehole, you. <laughs> There you go. So in the house, seeing as it's your birthday. You can't get enough sweetness in your life, Pam. No, no, you cannot. Molly, I'm sorry you've not seen much of Francis this week. They work her hard at the library there, you know. Oh, damn it. It's good as a chance to get to know one another, and that's a good thing, isn't it? Oh. The dreaded bill. The bill, the bill, the bill. Ah, oh, Tam. <laughs> allow me. I will not allow you, not at all, no. <clears throat> Just get this money out of my pocket. That is a classic move. But here's one I don't think you'll have seen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday 
to you. Well done, darling. <laughs> Let me attend to my bill now. Let me attend to that. <laughs> oh, Tom, did you enjoy that wee song? No, it, it was the bill. It was beautiful. <laughs> I've never had a freebie out of this place before. We must have been up every bastard in the street in this town. Just a bit chapped all the skin off my knuckles. Why did we not just bring a photograph? That would have done it. A wee tune like this. Aye, because that would have been a clever thing to do. And what with us being a couple of daft old pricks? Oh, daft. Hello, you couple of queer hawks. <laughs> Winston! <laughs> what in the name of Christ are you two doing here? Oh, well, we didn't see you. Well, you should have phoned. Aye, well, we would have done if you'd give us the bloody number. Aye. Came down to see if you're all right. What do you mean if I'm all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm in Finport. Welcome to Finport. I'll be a cat stuck up a tree or something. <laughs> Listen, it was really nice of you to come down, you know, but as you can see, I'm fine and dandy. Yeah. So, eh, uh, what is it you want today? Well, I'll just see you now, you know, get a cup of tea now. Have a look at your digs. Oh, aye, aye, no bother. We've, uh, we've been out of room about. <laughs> There's not a lot to do, is there? Uh, what, what is it you do all day here? Me? Oh, <laughs> I'm never done doing stuff. <laughs> all, all day, aye. Uh, every day. Like what? I'll tell you what you do, right? Come with me and I'll give you a day in the new life of Winston Ingram. <laughs> right. Do you know what this is? Penny Falls machine. No, not quite, Victor, nearly. This is a cash cascade. It's a license to print money. See, this is a Penny Falls machine without an alarm. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> oh, boo, nothing happens. Will those coins ever fall? Right, gentlemen. Time to paint the tune red. <laughs> See? Hey? You don't get this in Craig Lang. <coughs> no, you can get your money in Craig Lang as well. <laughs> so, eh? So you're settled then, eh? Here. What? Aye, of course, sir. Couldn't be happier. Well, that's you. Oh, so that was, uh, uh... Oh, we've never seen your digs, eh? Oh, aye. Eh, uh, well, next time, eh? Oh, we'll, do, we'll do that the next time. Right, hey, well, all the best. Bye, Jack. Cheerio, Winston. Cheers, Victor. See you later. <laughs> I'll just get you a tea for the bus, Molly. Oh, well, I'll come with you then. Don't be stupid, you've got the case. You stay and keep Molly company. All right, so. What's the matter, Tam? Do you not want to be alone with me? That's a problem, see? I want to be alone with you. Tonight, or more night, or the rest of my life. Your tight fistedness drives me crazy, sweetheart. <laughs> Gets me harder than the crossword in the herald. <laughs> but this wedding band says we can never be. I'm married to your sister, Molly. Any feelings I have for you ain't worth the hell of beans. <gasps> Got your tin of sweeties and all, Molly. Oh, thanks. Now, you look after yourself. <gasps> Here's one last freebie for you, Tam.
Be happy now. We've seen it all. What the hell's happened here? The council tell me I was going to a new place, you know. I thought they meant a new house. Down at the beach, but it wasn't it was sheltered housing. Full of deadbeats. We red string to pull in case you'd fail or shat yourself. <laughs> I'd look up at them. Tell them to stick it up their arse. Aye, well, you obviously did the right thing there, eh? Cos this is the Savoy. <laughs> so I know what I've done. Made a complete hoorie. See, my problem is, I don't know when to admit I'm wrong. I came down here thinking that I could start all over again. Without anything, without anybody. Just me, on my Todd. But you can't. You know, at this age, I mean, as shite as Craig Lang is, I miss it. I need it. I need the pub. The weeds. I need you too. <sighs> what does it matter anyway, eh? I burnt my boats. Have you got a suitcase? I have, aye. How? I'll get it bloody packed. You're coming home with us. Aye. Well, where am I going to stay? Pictures. <laughs> Here, give me a wee second, fellas. Get it right, Roger Finpaw! <laughs> I'll take your case for you then, sir. Oh, thanks, son. I bet that's in Finport. Lager, please. You big lantern jawed, bug eyed, junky faced, bone idle, <laughs> dim witted bastard, you. <laughs> what? I've been away six weeks. 